Hello, hello my friends, welcome to Install the Cleaning Channel, this is Uncle Misha, and today we're going to be talking about how to clean the mirror in and this particular scanner, this or that's going to be applicable to any cool cool scan scanner essentially because they are sharing the same uh, pretty much arrangement. So in order to clean the mirror in um, uh, scanner uh, cool scan cool scan scanners from Nikon, you have to probably take it apart. So probably not as drastically as I did, like in this particular case, it's completely taken apart. I don't think you have to take all these electronic parts uh, away. So it's just to have access on this side, let's say, or on that side. So essentially, you can remove two panels. But obviously, uh, it's a bit easier for me because I have more space. So then you have to move manually this head backwards. Because if it's forward, it's very hard to operate right here where the mirror is. So you have to, have to move it backwards like this. Ideally, if you do that, you disconnect this uh, uh, cable, okay? So it's connected to the board in this somewhere, in this location, like right here on the bottom, like in the, where the board gonna be here, so it's gonna be connected there. So remove it, because when you, uh, so this motor is a, um, uh, stepper motor and if you're gonna be rotating it it's gonna generate some magnetic field and sometime the, the motor drivers do not like that just not to end up with fried board okay so after you did that you stop and you look at the mirror which is located here so so after you moved all um, caddy or head essentially all the way to the back now it's much easier to operate with your mirror okay so here this control is very really hard to see but those two metal uh, springs or metal brackets they holding the mirror mirror is right in here oh, very hard to see yes it is very hard to see the mirror uh, so but it's essentially here you see this is the cog which uh, um, focuses like uh, goes up and down moves this thing up and down focuses against the uh, slide tray or a film tray and the mirror is right in here so if you're gonna help yourself with something better to use some kind of plasticky thingies and be be careful that this thing this thing and this uh, lead screw they all greased so better not to have a uh, touch it or touch with your greasy fingers for example so make sure you wearing some kind of gloves and make sure you're not touching it, the any of these surfaces before you're touching the um the mirror for example if you were for example spinning this thing make sure you clean your gloves with some microfiber cloth just to make sure it doesn't you know spread lubricants everywhere all right so now you have to remove the mirror so better to remove removing mirror uh, I'm not sure was the best way but this is what I came up with first of all you have to remove those two brackets somehow okay just use this plasticky thingy okay so just two brackets like this this gonna free the mirror it's gonna essentially fall down so here you have to use something like that not screwdriver something plasticky okay just to take mirror out okay in this case it's just falling down completely oh yeah okay i'm not sure if it's the best way but here is my mirror and you see it is super duper dirty so and it also is very important to understand the sides so this is nice and clean side but it's bottom side because this mirror surface is on this side on the dirty side this goes like a three millimeter of glass and then there is a mirror so if you spin it around mirror is right here obviously this is very scratchable surface so you have to be super careful and understand that you, what you're doing so there is also concern that the lens there is dirty as well. So I'm not sure how to check on that because lens is very hidden inside over there. So this thing is removable. At least I would like to understand how badly lens is dirty, but it's really hard to see. 
Also, it is very important to clean everything in here because here it could be pretty dirty as well, like everywhere here. So if you have nice and clean microfiber, clean uh, everything. So now let's back to our super dirty mirror. So again, it has two sides. All right. Um, I did overexposure on purpose because otherwise you won't be able to really see how dirty it is. So this is the dirty side. I don't know, this is super dirty. So I'm not sure what really happened to this. So I have, um, my idea is to use an alcohol. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol. Um, just to spray on a mirror like this, gently. Because it looks like it has some kind of, maybe when I was taking it away, it got some kind of lubricant on it, right? Is it? Yeah. So I definitely need some kind of um, solvent. By the way, if you're using something like that, do not touch it with, with the... Uh, with the uh, needle, which is sharp. Okay, you see, I couldn't even clean it up properly, so I'm gonna be using this land span thingy. I'm hoping that's gonna help. Let me try on the side. No, it doesn't. Yeah, still, mirror still has some kind of residue on it. Hmm, what is that? Alcohol doesn't take this away. This is very weird. And this is like 99% isopropyl alcohol. Maybe I need to use like distilled water or something. No. It's still kind of hazy. Wow. I think this mirror is shot. I mean, it's still better than it was, but I'm not really, it's really hard to show you this haziness. It's quite mirrory, obviously, but it's still quite hazy. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try with taking photo with, the, with my camera. Well, I think the, uh, this is the best I can do with this mirror, because if um, you see this, yeah, now it's kind of, I can't even show you this. So this haze is still present in those two dots. And that, that, that's how it was when I took the mirror off. So looks like the dirt got baked in into the surface. Potentially, this is the surface of whatever metal, silver or aluminium uh, is, you know, on here. So essentially this mirror may be even shot unless... Someone actually put the mirror in properly, and this is the right surface. So I have no. I would say this, obviously, because this would add unwanted optical, uh, unwanted optical kind of aberration because light has to go through and bounce off. So yeah, so this is quite uh, quite important. This side is dirty, but not as hazy, obviously. So it's just dirty. I can clean it up in no time. Wow, turned out to be, there is a trick. So not every alcohol is actually good solvent. So in order to clean this haze, you know what I've done? I just, I just breathe, breath, breathe, breath on, uh, breathe on, on, on the mirror. And they and then wiped it with this microfiber. Well, it doesn't matter with any microfiber. And then after it, it actually let let um, uh, so look like the water has different kind of surface properties than alcohol, and it completely removed that haze. And after that, to make mirror as clean as possible, I apply alcohol again, and now it's nice and super clean. And there are some little little spots of of specks of dust which I can kind of remove, but yeah, just like this. And it's, oh, there is a little something here. Let me clean this up. And then we can probably install it. So now I have both sides super clean as much as possible. Well, this is, oh yeah, sort of residue, alcohol residue. But it doesn't matter. We need this side to be clean as clean as possible. Or whatever. Yeah, this is probably alcohol residue. Which can be easily cleaned up. Yeah. So I essentially 
You see? I can breathe on it and it's a little bit of water. So if you have distilled water, so it's probably good to keep it in such a bottle like this and just spray on it as well. So that's gonna solve the problem. So I have cleaned up this mirror as much as possible, spending quite a lot of time of fiddling with it. So now I can just put it right here. Okay, hide these thingies. In the meantime, just to keep them in case it gets uh, dirty again. So now we have to install the mirror back. For that I have a trick. I thought about it and I think I have a trick. Let me show you. So the trick consists of, of that. So you have to use your um, you have to use something, like, like in this case this box of um, resin in order to put it upside down and at the level you can operate so for example just like that, okay? so mirror is right here so and here is the trick, I'm not sure if you see it so here is the... Mm, that's really hard to show you, yeah again Maybe I can move the camera down a little bit more. Okay, uh, a little bit more. <laughs> so, not sure if it's in focus, but so idea is you take the mirror very carefully and wow, it's not easy and place it, move it like this. No, and make sure you put it the right way. So you have to place it. Yes, okay. So because mirror is supposed to go like this, on this kind of angle, like here, like on this angle. So this is the mirror surface. So you take this, put it upside down and insert it very carefully. Not easy at all. like that so essentially it falls down the uh falls down the, sh the that angular shaft right and then you take retainer clip okay and do pretty much the same just make sure it secures the mirror in place It's not easy to do as well, but it's so much easier to do it upside down um, than, than the upright, right? So you can help yourself with something. Oops, not easy, I'm telling you. All right, not all right. Have to really, because there is a notch in there, have to make sure All right, that's it. Whew. So here it is installed. Okay, make sure these things are very snug. So here we successfully installed the mirror and made sure it's actually secured properly. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful how to clean your scanner, film scanner mirror and stay tuned for another video. Stay safe and ciao.